What is up guys, Julian here, the French wine making guy who makes wine videos here on YouTube. So this morning I was just wondering, and I've actually never tried this wine, what is Solaya? The, the name of an iconic wine made in Tuscany by a producer called Marchesi Antinori. I've actually never tried Solaya and I would like to learn a little bit more about it. So I'm doing a little bit of research and just thought I would share the process with you guys to find out more about what is Solaya. So Solaya is an iconic wine, very famous name made, produced by one of the most famous of uh, Tuscan producers that is called Marchesi Antinori. So I'm on their website right now. What Marchesi Antinori says about the wine, well, the sunniest part of the Tignanello Estates hillside is home to the Solaya Vineyard. So, Tignanello is a tenuta, is an estate uh, owned by Antinori that gives birth to the famous Tignanello, one of the first super Tuscan wines, uh, you know, coming out of Italy. So, we expect that this is going to be also a super Tuscan, the very best grapes from the very best vineyard. All the rest is passion, the utmost care and research. So yeah, I'm sure they give this wine a lot of passion and a lot of care in their wine making. These are the secrets of Solaya together with the finest Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc and Sangiovese grapes from its namesake vineyard. So it's got certainly a very elegant uh, label and this is a confirmation that we are dealing here with a super Tuscan wine meaning that it blends the local typical Sangiovese grape that is local to the Chianti area and Tuscany and more generally together with Bordeaux grapes here in this case Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc no Merlot grape in Solaya what else? Tenuta Tignanello so the estate that we were talking about before the Tenuta Tignanello estate is the heart of Chianti Classico. So we are in the heart of Chianti Classico, but Solaya is not a Chianti Classico because it contains too much Bordeaux grapes and too much Cabernet. In the gently rolling hillsides between the Greve and Pesa river valleys, it extends over an area of 319 hectares, so 788 acres, of which 127 are dedicated to vines. So large estate with loads of woods, uh, hilly, beautiful Tuscany as we can as we can imagine, as we can see. The Tignanello estate has vineyards of indigenous Sangiovese grapes as well as some other and traditional varieties such as Cabernet Franc. As we were saying, soil. Soils originating in the Pliocene period, rich in marine fossils and veins of clay, rich presence of calcareous rocks and marl. So we are dealing here with uh, soils with a lot of, you know, you can see those rocks, limestone rocks, giving finesse to the wines uh, in this case. So obviously you know that a lot of wines made on limestone bring in a lot of minerality, lots of acidic tension to the wines. But there are also some marls here, so a bit of clay and and lime giving the wines more depth and more tannic density, especially if we're dealing with Bordeaux grapes. And uh, so we are here in the very heart of Tuscany, as you can see, uh, Marchesi Antinori. And this this is the area of Chianti Classico right here in the middle, right in between Siena and Florence. Um, so right in the hilly, quite elevated side of Tuscany. Here is the coast of Tuscany where you will find Bulgari where Marchesi Antinori has an estate that's called Tenuta Guado al Tasso. Uh, they've got a famous estate also called Pian delle Vigne around the village of Montalcino making Brunello di Montalcino. You can see also here Montepulciano, another village that makes the Vino Nobile di Montepulciano and they are present also in Umbria. So, important producer Marchesi Antinori and one of their most iconic super Tuscan wine uh, you know outside made outside of Bulgari Antinori makes wines in Bulgari as well um, we know and I think it's not exactly the same producer but yeah Tenuta Guado Altasso um, yeah Bulgari makes Bul Ornelaya and Sassicaia wine um, but Solaya is made in the hillsides inland of Tuscany right here rather than on the coast. The coast makes some of the most famous and the most expensive 
Super Tuscans, um, quite rarely, apart from Tignanello and Solaya, do you find Super Tuscans made in Chianti Classico. Solaya is one of these examples. I would love to try it. If you have, leave me a comment and tell me, let me know what you think and what you thought about it in the comments. And yeah, that was uh, what I could find out about Solaya in short. I hope this video was useful. If it was, give it a quick thumb up before you go to support my work. And I will see you soon in the wonderful world of wine. Au revoir. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Arrivederci. Salute.